Hey guys, I want to show you a quick run through of painting oak doors and not having it look really bad. This is a traditionally painted oak door and this was hand painted by someone and it was just top coated and you're going to see some really unattractive things about it and we're going to be talking about how to pour fill it and how to correctly refinish them if you don't want to see the grain and you don't want any uh, stain bleed through. So here, when we look in the light, you can see all those grain lines shining through the oak. And also, you can see there's peeling on this door. Overall, it, it is a, uh, it's a DIY painting job. You know, even if you, you get someone who doesn't know what they're doing, this is what the door is going to be looking like. So we want this oak door to look like fresh maple perfect okay this is an oak door that I refinished and you can see in the reflection of the light there's no grain shining through this thing whatsoever it is a perfect paint job it looks like it's brand new fresh maple but it, it's oak it has all those grains in it but we filled those green so that it looks like maple. So the most important part of making oak look like that is something like this. This is a really high quality bonding primer. It makes anything stick to anything. Now you can, there's people who say you can use, um, you know, de-wax shellac for the same thing. Um, I've never got great results with it. This is awesome. So this is the first thing you lay down. Uh, you sand the doors, the oak doors that you're finishing, sanding them so you got a mechanical tooth that this stuff can stick to. Lay this stuff down with a sprayer. You can use a really cheap sprayer if you want. Uh, the sprayer isn't as important for these base coats as the sanding is because it's a crap load of sanding. So this is the first, first coat. After you lay one coat of this on oak, you want to sand it all the way down to bare wood so that the only thing that is left is just the uh, just the pores. They got, they got filled a little bit. And then after you do one coat of that, sand it all the way down, one more coat of this, sand it not all the way down, you sand it until the grain starts to disappear. Now you're gonna see some big voids occasionally, and in between the second and third coat, so you did two coats of that, that's the only, only thing you're gonna need for this stuff. Then you can use this, which is an MH Ready Patch, which is a um, spackling compound. And this is awesome. Also, if you don't have this, Crawford's work. Don't use the really cheap ones from Home Depot and stuff. Um, with paints, it's very important to get a good quality brand if you want a good quality product. So just do yourself a favor and find these products. Um, so this goes on in between the second and third coat. Now, the biggest part of this is not the painting. The biggest part of this is the sanding. It requires a ridiculous amount of sanding. For, for this job, I think I spent a day sanding in between coats. A lot of sanding. So if you're gonna do that, you need a very high quality sander. Um, you're gonna make a lot of dust. Something like this, the Festool Rotex is great, but you still need something to get into the corners. You can just use a ran regular random orbital sander and you'll be just fine. Just take your time and keep going. It is going to be a ridiculous amount of sanding. Finally, if you need to block the stains, because most of these golden oak cabinets are stained when you don't want to refinish them. Then you got to hit on top of these two things because you did two coats of this, sanding in between coats, then you filled it up with this, and then you sanded that back down. The MH Ready Patch. Now, you got to hit it with something like this. Now, this is a shellac based product. If you have an airless sprayer or something like that, you can get a cheap airless sprayer. And if you don't want to throw something shellac based through your um, through your airless sprayer and get it all in the hose and have to deal with fish iron contamination. You can just go get an aerosol can and just spot prime all the top. Now you have to prime this stuff. This, this, this Any spackling compound, if you want it to be a good finish, you have to prime it. So you could just hit on top of that with an aerosol can or if there's any, any bleed through of stain, hit it with a stain blocking primer. So this is a fantastic one. Pro Block from Sherwin-Williams is another great one. 
Um, but you have to hit them on top with a stain blocking primer. Finally, if after all of that is done, the doors should basically look like this, but not shiny because I don't have a top coat. They've all been primed and they've all been pore filled to that point. Then all you need is just a just a hand blocks the sander like this. Just barely scuff it up, just to take down those little little notches. And then it's time for your top coat. You can hit it with anything you want. I, I, I use Scuff X. Scuff X is a fantastic product. You can use Kelly Moore Dirt Epoxy or whatever you want. So I used Scuff X and it came out perfect. It, it's just like it would be if it was a brand new maple door from scratch and they were golden oak stained from the 70s or 80s. So um, not a lot of people are, um, have shown videos of them actually doing this. There's a lot of products out there like grain fillers. And I've, there's so many of them out there. I've tried a few of them and haven't got a lot of um, good feedback on them. This is, if I ever have to do this again, this is what I'm going to do. But I will also say as a professional and my time is very important, I'm probably never going to do this again. This was a, uh, a good experiment for knowledge and uh, it was, it would have been faster for me to just completely remake the doors. So if you're a hobbyist looking to do this, only considered if you have a fantastic uh, sander and top coat on that. So, but if you're not, just just rock rock the the pores. Don't just stain block it. Don't even worry about filling the pores. Just just rock it, even though it looks like oak. It'll be fine.